Hey guys, welcome to another audio video in the upper reading, Jeremiah 17 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, The sin of Judah is written with a pen of iron and with the point of a diamond. It is graven upon the table of their heart and upon the horns of your altars. Whilst their children remember their altars and their groves by the green trees upon the high hills. Ho, oh, my mountain in the field, I will give thy substance and all thy treasures to the spoil, and thy high places for sin throughout all thy borders. And though even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I give thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled the fire in mine anger, which shall burn for ever. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. For he shall be like the eath in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, and shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness, in a salt land and not inhabited. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things, and, des and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. As the partridge sitteth on eggs and atcheth them not, so he that getteth riches and not by right shall leave them in the midst of his days, and at his end shall he be a fool. A glorious high throne from the beginning is the place of our sanctuary. O Lord, the hope of Israel, all that forsake thee shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be written in the earth, because they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living waters. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Behold, they say unto me, Where is the word of the Lord? Let it come now. As for me, I have not hastened from being a pastor to follow thee, neither have I desired the woeful day. Thou knowest that which came out of my lips was right before thee. But be not a terror unto me, thou art my hope in the day of evil. Let them be confounded that persecute me, but let not me be confounded. Let them be dismayed, but let not me be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil, and destroy them with double destruction. Thus said the Lord unto me, Go and stand in the gates of the children of the people, whereby the kings of Judah come in, and by the which they go out, and in all the gates of Jerusalem, and say unto them, Hear ye the word of the Lord, ye kings of Judah, and all Judah, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem that enter in by these gates. Thus saith the Lord, Take heed to yourselves, and bear no burden on the Sabbath day, nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem. Neither carry forth a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day, neither do ye any work. But hallow ye the Sabbath day, as I commanded your fathers. But ye obeyed not, but they obeyed not, sorry guys, neither inclined their ear, but made their neck stiff, that they might not hear, nor receive instruction. And it shall come to pass, if you diligently hearken unto me, saith the Lord, to bring in no burden through the gates of this city on the Sabbath day, but all of the Sabbath day, to do no work therein. Then shall there enter into the gates of this city kings and princes, sitting upon the throne of David, riding in chariots and, and on horses, they and their princes, the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the city shall remain forever. 
and they shall come from the cities of Judah and from the places about Jerusalem and from the land of Benjamin and from the plain and from the mountains and from the south bringing burnt offerings and sacrifices and meat offerings and incense and bringing sacrifices of praise unto the house of the Lord. But if ye will not hearken unto me to hallow the Sabbath day and not to bear a burden even entering in at the gates of Jerusalem on the Sabbath day, then will I kindle a fire in the gates thereof, and it shall devour the palaces of Jerusalem, and it shall not be quenched. Alright guys, so here we see one of the Lord's commandments that the people have actually disobeyed. So this is one of the instances where the people, the children of Israel, had decided to disregard the word that the Lord sent forth with his prophet Jeremiah when he had sent a warning to them. He told them not to work on the Sabbath and to keep the Sabbath hallowed, right, holy and not and be reverent to God. But they decided not to do this. And because they decided not to do this, hence their destruction, his coming, it's still pending. Right, And through this, we see that the Lord warned them. The Lord continues to warn them over and over again. He sent forth his words. And he's showing us here in the scriptures. He allows his prophet to write these words and to do these actions to show that he is indeed a just God. He is indeed a merciful God. And he does not just bring judgment upon his people but he gives them chances to redeem themselves and to walk according to his will. Will you be a stiff-necked person or will you follow after the Lord? Ask yourself that question. Will you listen to God? Or will you open your heart and allow him to lead you and not be as the children of Israel have that will be brought away into captivity and suffer destruction because I can assure you if you decide that you will continue to follow to follow after the desires of your own heart and not open yourself to God and to what he wants to do in your life then you will suffer destruction and it might come at a time that you least expect it. You see here where it says that if your riches are not found in God, then your days will be short and you will die leaving behind all that, those riches. Right? So guys, I just want to encourage you to continue to walk in your salvation. And if you've not gained it, then seek it. There's no better time. To begin than the present. Have yourselves a blessed day. Bye.